In the previous lesson, we started the discussion around the account groups, and actually we checked the field status concept for a particular account group, uh, TC12, which we have a link to that uh, with the BP02 grouping. And now we just want also to check, uh, want to check as well the, the number range that is assigned to this account group and see what is, if there is a match, if there is a coincidence, or if there is not uh, a coincidence with the uh, BP a number range. So for this, uh, let's open again financial accounting and account receivable and accounts payable. Customer accounts, uh, of course, this has to do with master data and uh, it's inside the preparations because here we have a uh, well assigned number ranges to the customer groups, uh, customer account groups, and then we will also uh, uh, run uh, these create number ranges to see the detail. But uh, first, let's investigate what is the ID of the number range that is assigned to the TC12 uh, account group. So let's click on this and we'll jump directly using position we'll jump directly to TC12 to that account group so well, this is just very simple it's just an assignment of course we have these three columns the ID of the account group the description of the account group and the number range so well um, uh, the point here is that 02 is assigned to TC12 and the main or core section of this lesson is to, to actually go to the, to the uh, previous transaction and analyze the uh, number uh, range 02 because we will check the lower limit, the upper limit and especially if we will check if this is an external number range or an internal number range and well, um, you will see this in the coming uh, few minutes but I just want to, to say something very important. This has to be uh, an external, okay, an external number range. Why? Uh, because uh, the, the, the object that controls the creation is the business partner. And actually just the ID uh, uh, is created for the, this business partner. And it, this ID will just flow to the account group uh, uh, to the master record of the customer uh, that belongs to this account group and it will just flow and we will use the same we will use the same id for uh, the like the customer and for the bp so well uh, that is the reason the number range here for the account group is has to be set up as external but actually let's have a look at this so i will just go back and we'll start just the the previous transaction the create number ranges so um we don't want to modify anything right now, we just want to check, so let's display intervals. But again, of course, I just want you to focus on, uh, especially on, on this second uh, line on the on the uh, number range 02. Because first, well, you have to realize, and if you remember, you can just go back, of course, to that uh, lesson, and just check what is the value, like the lower limit and the upper limit for this number range. And you will probably see, you will probably agree <laughs> with me, that um, it, there is a perfect match. So that means the lower limit is exactly as the upper limit. But again, as we have been saying, the most important thing also for us to realize is that uh, 0 02 for the account groups, uh, this number range 0 02 for the account groups has been set up as external. So that do just means the flow, the, the, the sorry, the ID will just flow, this value will flow from the ID of the business partner, it will just flow into the customer master record and we will have an exact match. Uh, 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 the ID will be the same for the business partner, for the customer. And uh, again, this is probably, I mean, it's just what we call like a best practice, but it could be different and that just depends on your customer and your the overall situation with your customer and it's something we have to analyze on a case by case basis in a case by case scenario but this is um, again like like a, a good way to or a, a, the best approach or a good approach because actually it also uh, you get rid of of um, a confusion because it's the same ID for the business partner and just for the ID in, uh, for example, in transactions uh, in the SAP logon that we use in, uh, inside financial accounting, for example, to uh, display and change line items of the customer, you would use the same ID as the just the VP. So, well, the most uh, probably the, the most uh, uh, recommended approach, but well, um. Let's, uh, after we have seen this, uh, let's just finish this lesson and we will continue with learning with the next ones. So, of course, we invite you to be there and just, uh, as always, uh, just uh, write us and contact us uh, in our different uh, contact uh, methods so we can just answer any query that you may have. 
and um, help you as much as we can.